this is Tracy and welcome to Simple Bible Truth. I hope to encourage you in your faith and inspire you to seek truth, to love God, and to obey Jesus. So in this video, I'd like to raise a few questions and just talk a little bit through the idea of pre-existence and what that would mean if some human being wa was able to pre-exist. And what are human beings? Just consider some of those thoughts and then in the next video, dig into what the Bible has to say about pre-existence and uh, Jesus and when his beginning began. And so starting off, I would like to just share my thoughts and see what you think. And I'm open to you commenting below of your thoughts. And then in the next video, we'll dig a little deeper, like I said, into what the Bible has to say in regards to all of this. First of all, we all know human beings have their beginning when they're conceived in their mother. And when the sperm and egg come together, that is when you have your beginning. That is when your beginning begins. And so if Jesus is a human being, and we all know that he was created in a virgin, in Mary, and he did not have a human father, God miraculously made Mary's egg become a human being, become Jesus. It wasn't because God put some holy sperm into Mary. He did a miracle, just like he did with Adam and Eve back in the beginning. They were 100% human, but they had a miraculous creation and beginning, as did Jesus. So if Jesus began in the womb of Mary, he could not have pre-existed that beginning because if he had, he would not be human. He would be some sort of other being. And if you were an angel or God or just some other spiritual being before you become human, it doesn't go together because then you're not human. No matter how much you look like a human or you talk like a human, you are not human if you're not human. And it just, it seems to be so simple to me. And Jesus, if he was a human being, which we have to believe he is for many reasons, we'll look at these next time, but he was a priest, the high priest for us between a mediator between us and God. And it says the high priest had to be chosen from among men, not from among God men or angels or anything like that. He was, has to be a human being that is put in that position. Why? Because he can empathize with us. He understands what humans go through. Also, if he's our savior and every Christian would say, Jesus died for my sins, and then God raised him from the dead. But Jesus died for my sins. Well, you have to be human to die because if you pre-existed and were eternal in any way, you can't die. And so if you think Jesus pre-existed and he was some other sort of being other than human, he didn't die. And if he really didn't die, then we're lost. We have no salvation. It also tells us that Jesus was tempted like we're tempted. And if we don't believe that he was 100% human, and if you're 100% human, you can't be 100% anything else. 100% is the whole. You can be 50% something and 50% something else. But if you were that, you still wouldn't be a human. Yeah. But as human being, you if you're 100% human, which you have to be in order to be human, then you can't be part God or God before that or God after that. You are human. And what differentiates humans from God or angels? Angels were created as well. They do not have immortality in and of themselves. God made them and created them the way he did. Human beings the same way. God created the human race in a certain way. So how are humans different from other creation? Well, first of all, if you are created and part of the creation, you are not the creator. 
You can't be the pot and the potter. So God, the Father of all things, the Almighty God, he is the creator and everything else is created, including Jesus. Jesus was created in the womb of Mary. And so being human, Jesus has to entail everything that a human being is. He cannot have been part God prior. He can't have been God. He can't be a God man. All this sounds like Greek philosophy and the gods, the Greek gods and the Roman gods and all those other mystical teachings and beliefs and religions. And unfortunately, that has gotten all mixed into the true Christian faith. And so we need to be sharing with people these things so that they can understand and differentiate mythology from Christianity. Because Christianity was taken from Christ, Messiah Jesus. He is the cornerstone of our faith. And it's because of him we have hope. And we are grafted in to God's people and we become heirs with Abraham for what was promised to him. So really, no matter any way you look at it, if we claim that Jesus was human, he has to be 100% human because a human is human. And you can't be another percent of something if it's 100%. You can't be 100% plus 100% or times 100%. It just doesn't make sense for the sense that God made us and how he created this world that we live in. We have to agree that when God created this universe and human beings, he set certain things in motion, rules that govern everything. So we have like gravity. I hold my pen and drop it, it falls. That is a rule. We have the rule of sowing and reaping that Jesus taught about, and maybe we'll do another video on that. But as a human being living in this universe, God has created a certain way of things happening. He's given us understanding. We don't have full understanding. Nobody knows it all. And of course, we don't know the mind of God, and he's able to do everything. But he can't go against something that he has established and set up. It just wouldn't be right. And he wouldn't try to confuse us. He's making it simple for us to understand that he is the father of everything. He is God Almighty. And he has a Messiah that was chosen among men, among mankind, human beings, the human race. And Jesus was that man. And how is he different from other men today or people? Because he was miraculously created, just like Adam and Eve were. Doesn't make them God or some God-man. They were just miraculously created by God. And Jesus, in the same way, was miraculously created. He had his beginning in Mary and was a human being and experienced everything that we do. And he was tempted in every way that we are. And he died just like we will die. And if God didn't raise him from the dead, he'd still be dead today. And so Jesus, as a human being, cannot have pre-existed his human life that he had. So I hope that this has brought up some good food for thought for you for the week. And I would encourage you to search the scriptures, to look up some verses, to find some places where Jesus is seen as a human being, like him eating and sleeping and those things. But I would encourage you to share in the comments below this week anything that you find in scripture that shows us that Jesus was a human being just like you and me. Let's continue to seek truth together. And I encourage you to do that throughout this week, to love God and to obey Jesus. Have a blessed week, and I look forward to meeting with you again.